Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I want to talk to you about the risk of using personal smartphones and tablets by accessing sensitive company data, whether it's an email or it's files on OneDrive or something in Teams, and the risk of when you download that data and save it locally to that device. So I want to show you how we can help mitigate that with Microsoft security technology and empower your employees to work from home on their personal smartphones and tablets, but yet still keep company data secure. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go through some scenarios here of being able to allow somebody to use their personal iPhone or iPad to access company data, but still protect that company data. And here you can see in the bullet points on the screen, there's a few scenarios that uh, you can take this with. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of these now. Okay, here I am on my personal iPad and I wanna get some work done. So I'm gonna add my company's email account to my personal iPad. So to do this, I'm just gonna tap on the built-in mail app down here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna tap on Microsoft Exchange and I'm gonna log in. So I'm gonna type my email address, tap next, tap sign in. And then it's gonna bring me to my Office 365 login page. And from here, I'm gonna type in my password. Now I'm a good employee, so I always create a complex password. And I'm gonna tap sign in and check it out. It looks like you're trying to open this resource with an app that hasn't been approved by your IT department. Ask them for a list of approved applications. So I cannot use this built-in mail app on my iPad to access my company's email. Okay, so I have my personal iPad. Now my company does not manage this device. They only manage their applications. And one of those apps is Outlook. So on my personal iPad, I'm gonna launch the Outlook app. Now when I do that, I want you to notice that it's gonna ask me to sign into that app using either a Touch ID or Face ID or a four digit passcode. So I'm gonna type in my top secret passcode here. Don't tell anybody what it is. And that's going to let me into the Outlook app so I can check my email. So let's go ahead and open up an email. Now I wanna show you some of the protection capabilities here that Microsoft has within Outlook using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And that's if I highlight my data that I wanna to try to copy out of Outlook. So I'm gonna highlight it and choose copy. And then I'm gonna to try to paste that data into an app that my company does not manage, like the Notes app. So let's create a new note here and let's paste that data in there. And look at that, your organization's data cannot be pasted here. It stops that from happening. Now, if we go back to the Outlook app, let's open up this email attachment. So here's a PowerPoint deck that I can review. Now, if I tap on the share icon, I wanna point out a few things here. When I tap share file via, notice that only the apps my company manages are listed. I can't share it with any kind of social media app. I can't even save it locally to my device. Notice there's no local storage for me to show there. It's only the apps that my company manages. Now I could open this up in PowerPoint, which then would allow me to edit it, but again, my company also manages PowerPoint. So that's just a few of the capabilities here we have to protect the Outlook app, and these same protections would apply across these other Microsoft apps as well. And there's more protections, but this is all we have time to show you today. Now let's take a look at what this looks like on an Android phone. Okay, I'm on my personal Android phone. Now again, this is my personal device. It's not managed by my company's IT department, but the apps at the top of the screen are managed by my company's IT department. And so if I wanna get access to my company email or OneDrive or Teams, then I have to use their apps. Now when I launch that app, it's gonna ask me to sign in here using a pin. So I'm gonna type my top secret pin here. Don't tell anybody what it is. And that's gonna give me access to my email. And this is configurable. So let's scroll down to the bottom here and let's find an email that has an attachment in it. And I'm looking for one that has a Word document. So we'll pull this one from Alex Wilbur. Now, let's take a look at this. We're gonna to try to exfiltrate the data in here. So let's highlight data in the email. Let's click Copy. And then let's go open up an app that my company does not manage, like Google Docs. So we're gonna create a new Google Doc here. And we're gonna to try to paste that data from the protected email app into Google Docs that the company's not managing. And when I do that, 
Look at that, puts a firewall on it, blocks it. I cannot take that data out of Outlook and into a personal app. Okay, so let's go back. Now let's tap and hold on that email attachment, that file, and let's try to download that. And when I do that, notice down at the bottom it says cannot save to device. Okay, so now let's try to open that document. Now it's gonna launch in a Word. Now remember, my company is managing the Word app, but we're gonna to try to do the same thing. So let's try to save this data in the Word app locally. So I'm gonna tap on Save As, and let's choose one of these locations. And look at that, I can't save it locally. Let's choose another one. Can't save it there either. Let's try another one. And again, can't save it there. I'm only allowed to save it in OneDrive or SharePoint because that's what my company has authorized me to do. I can't get this data out of the app. It's in the app, controlled by my company. Okay, now there's one last thing I wanna share with you and that's the ability to take screenshots now, for demo purposes, I can't show you that, but I can prevent the ability on an Android phone to take screenshots. What I can't do, though, is prevent you from holding up another phone and snapping a photo. So if we're worried about that data, we really need to talk about something like Azure Information Protection to encrypt that data and prevent it going on the phone in the first place. Okay, that's all the time we have for the smartphone side of this. Let's go to the IT admin side next. Okay, so I am in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now, this allows me to do all the capability I just showed you. And there's a lot we can do here, just don't have enough time here to show you. But let me show you just the, some of the things that we did. So inside Endpoint Manager here, I'm gonna go over to Apps, and I'm gonna click on App Protection Policies. And here I created some policies for Android and iOS. So let's take a look at iOS first. Now, when I go to properties, here's where I set everything up. So I told it, okay, apply this to these apps on any kind of device type, whether it's managed or unmanaged. And then I told it to apply a level of protection. And so things like cut, copy, and paste, being able to block third-party keyboards, uh, being able to send data to other apps, you saw that in the demo. Uh, we had some things around unmanaged browser control even being able to block notifications from the app. So there's a lot of things I can do here that I haven't really shown you the demo. Now, for access requirements, you saw that pin that was required. I can do some other things here as well uh, to be able to control how you access the app. I can even look to see if the device itself is jailbroken and then deny your access to it. Now, if we go over to Android for a moment, it's gonna be very similar. And uh, with Android, we're applying it to Outlook, Word, OneDrive, and Teams. And we're doing pretty much the same things, but there's a few things that Android allows me to do, such as block screenshots. And that's where you can see screen capture in Google Assistant. Now I can also put a character limit on, copy and, on cut and copy. And there's a few other things I can do here as well, like prevent printing and that kind of thing. Again, same story here with access requirements and even look to see if the Android device is rooted. And then uh, that is app, what we call app protection policies or mobile application management within Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now, in the beginning of the demo here of the video, I did show you a conditional access policy in Azure Active Directory to prevent you from using that built-in mail app or any kind of third-party email app on a personal device. And that's this conditional access policy here inside Azure Active Directory. And so basically I have this scope to my test user, Megan, and we're scoping it to Exchange Online. We're looking to see what kind of device they are on, Android and iOS, and then we're allowing them to have access, but then we're looking to see if they have an approved app, and if they don't, then we're gonna block them. And then that policy is enabled. And this is all audited and reported uh, within the audit log. Okay, folks, well, I hope you found this valuable. Uh, I always enjoy making these videos, so if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn and uh, I'd be happy to answer those. Well, by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.